In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. Our virtual smart zone dashboard is showing us two key pieces of information. First, we can see that we are currently running version 5.1.0. Second, we can see that we are connected to 10.177.89.17. This is our leader in terms of the cluster configuration. Let's take a look at its config. Navigate to System and Cluster. We see that we have two nodes, dot .17, which is our leader, and dot .81, which is our follower. In order to understand how this upgrade works, the follower will upgrade and reboot first. Once the reboot completes, it will come back online and become the leader. At that point, our current leader will upgrade, reboot, and come back online as a follower. Before we continue, we navigate to Administration, then Backup and Restore. Here we will perform a cluster backup of the entire cluster. This is a best practice and we should perform this task on a normal cadence regardless. Once the backup is complete within SmartZone, it stores the file locally. That means we need to use FTP to transfer the file off of our SmartZone appliance. We will be FTPing it to our internal FTP server, but that server utilizes a public IP address and the command displays the username and password. I'll put an example on the screen here of what the command should look like. Once we hit enter, we get a listing of all the files that exist currently. We only have one, so we will choose that file number, which is the number one, and hit enter. Something to note, the files stored in SmartZone are timestamped. If you need to revert back to another configuration that is older, you can do that. The only caveat is you must manually create these backup files. The process is not automatic. Next, we will perform a configuration backup. We navigate to the configuration tab and click backup. Once this is completed, it will display the backup file. If we want to save that file, we can click on download and we will have a copy of that file on our local machine. Now that backups are complete, we navigate to Upgrade under Administration. We've already downloaded the .ximage file of our targeted version from the support portal, so we click on Browse. Now we just navigate to the folder location where our file exists and select it. Depending on your environment, this upload can take some time, but we do have a status bar so we'll know when it's completed. Now that the file has been uploaded, we click on Upgrade. We have a pop-up that informs us we are about to upgrade and the system will reboot. Are we sure? We will click yes and the upgrade begins. This part took some time, roughly 30 to 45 minutes. We will check back on it over time and see how it's progressing. While that's happening, let's talk about what's happening under the hood. We know that Virtual Smart Zone in a cluster configuration upgrades in two phases, follower then leader. We are in the first phase now as our follower is currently upgrading. But what can we expect in terms of behavior with our smart zone controller and the access points? This table shows you what the effect would be on existing clients and new clients based on the WLAN type and authentication type. Because the implementations of smart zone can vary so greatly, I thought it would be best to show you this table and let you pause the video to understand what behavior you will see in your own implementation. In addition, I've linked the smart zone upgrade guide in the video description below so you can find further information. I'll let this screen play for a few seconds so you have time to pause and review. Okay, our update is complete, which took about an hour and 10 minutes. Now we can see that we are running the correct version and our cluster is up and online. Let's navigate to System and Cluster. We can see that both nodes are up and in a cluster configuration. We can also note that the original leader is now our follower and vice versa. That's it. We've performed a successful virtual smart zone cluster upgrade to version 5.1. Before you go, don't forget to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.